Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today we want to talk about how to process prepayments on a purchase order. There are two important considerations to remember when you're processing prepayments. The first, you need to know where your payable deposit account, what GL account is defined on the payable deposit on the additional tab of the PO options. So if we go to our additional tab, today we'll be working with a payable deposit account of 140. Second, the second thing to remember is that you must update the PO module manually. These two modules in this process are not integrated. So you, whenever you do something in, in AP, if you create additional payments, you need to update your purchase order uh, with the relevant information. So today we're just going to go through, uh, create a payment to our vendor and we'll create a purchase order and then we will uh, receive a receipt of goods and invoice and so we'll watch the prepayment flow through the system. Okay. First, we are just going to create a payment to our vendor. We're going to do this through manual check and payment entry. Uh, you're going to write him a check, write them a check. For one thousand dollars, and we're going to use our vendor <coughs> Minko Computers today. And again, we are just going to charge it to our one forty account. Okay, one thousand dollars. Accept that. Accept that. We're using check three. Okay. Go post our payment to our vendor. So you can see here that we have written a check to Minko Computers for $1,000. Go ahead and update it. Go ahead and post it to the general ledger. And you can see that we have debited our prepaid expense account and credited our cash. Update that. So the second part, we're going to go in and create a purchase order to our vendor. Here we'll select an item that we're going to buy, and we'll buy 10,000 capacitors for $7,000. The important part now, as you can see, is when we get to our totals tab of the purchase order, we need to record our down payment, our prepayment. We paid $1,000 on check three. You can see that after we receive it and we create the invoice, we're only going to owe $6,000. So let's accept this. We're going to do a receipt of goods, a uh, receipt of invoice in one, in one transaction for our video viewing uh, ease today. So our first receipt. Cool. 
with our purchase order. We create the invoice. This date. And the receipt date. So here we have our lines. We're going to receive the complete purchase order. You can see our totals, prepayment, and then our invoice balance. So when the invoice is created, we'll see when we're on our posting later that the actual invoice will only get created for $6,000. Accept that. Go through and do our <coughs> register update. here that our Minco computers are receiving 10,000 capacitors and we have a thousand dollar prepayment for an invoice balance of 6,000 and again you see our prepaid amount of our daily transaction register so that we can go see in our GL account the thousand dollars come in and out. Here you can see that it went to our it credited our prepaid expenses account for one thousand dollars. So we'll update that. And real quick, just to show you, we'll look at the GL detail report. We'll look at August for our prepaid account. We will preview it. And here, if you look at these last two entries, our receipt entry and then our payable entry, you'll see that when we created the payment, it was for $1,000. We've credited it for $1,000. So it has went in and out of our prepaid expense account. And we saw earlier that the invoice was set up for only $6,000 that we still owe our vendor. I hope this helps you. Uh, understand how to track prepayments uh, on a purchase order in Sage 100. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.